guys what's up it is a little after nine o'clock at night here in the gym home just finished up long day at the farm 5 30 a.m to 8 30 p.m <clears throat> got home got in the shower now we're gonna start training so i want to kind of show you guys what a day of training looks like for me um after i have a day like this where it's real busy i'm not getting started on training until after nine o'clock at night <clears throat> i mean i started off the day got up at 4 30 uh, made some paper street coffee, went to the farm, he loaded pigs, did chores. Then I went to the hardware store, got some more material to build the dog shed. Got some new soakers to replace a couple soakers in the pig barn that I had to wash today. So that's what took up most of the day. We got done with that about 8.30. <sighs> so now... Here we are, it's time to get started on training. The volume's gonna be a little bit lighter because I do want to sleep sometime tonight. I got more work to do tomorrow. <clears throat> but because of the decreased volume, intensity is gonna be a bit higher. We still have to drive the adaptation somehow. So we give a little bit with the volume, but we take with the intensity. So we get started with some lifting and then get into the conditioning and Metcon portion of training. Have some power snatches and some power cleans. So we'll go ahead and chip away at that. And then we'll get started on some air rolls on the air runner. All right, finished up with the snatches. Got the power cleans next. Keep chipping away. Get her done. Finished up my running intervals, about 25 minutes on the runner. Take a five minute rest. I'm gonna hop on the air bike for 20 minutes of intervals. Whew. Feeling a little bit better now. <clears throat> I made about four of those intervals. That voice in my head is talking, you know, <clears throat> and says, You don't have to do this. You're too tired to do this. You should go rest and train extra tomorrow. It's the off season. You don't gotta do this. Other people wouldn't be doing this. It's okay. You can go hop in the shower and go to bed. This is even more for here than it is for here. This training session. And if I <clears throat> were to call it a night and just go in before I finish what I had planned for training, and that person that I believe that I am no longer exists. And I can't allow that to happen. <clears throat> How you view yourself is very important in life, but especially in sports. And in the words of Taylor Self,
mental. So we'll finish out this five minute break. <clears throat> we'll hop on the bike. We'll get that done. And move on to the next one. And hey, hey, who's gonna carry the boats? Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? <clears throat> 20 minutes of intervals on the air bike. You can definitely tell. Cardiovascularly, starting to fatigue during the early intervals on a runner. In one minute of rest, my heart rate will recover about 50 to 60 beats in a minute. In the final couple intervals on the bike, in one minute of rest, my heart rate would recover about 15 to 20 beats. It's kind of an interesting thing that I like to look at whenever I'm doing intervals and any kind of workout with a set rest time <clears throat> to see how much my heart rate recovers during the rest from the beginning to the end of the workout. So now we'll rest five more minutes. <sighs> then we'll hit a rowing and handstand walk piece. And once I'm finished with that workout, I have a three minute rest. Then we're going to do some shoulder accessory, <clears throat> some shoulder endurance work. Pretty fatigued from the ancient walks. Done with that one too. Now, last piece we got left. Wouldn't really call it a Mekon, more of another accessory piece. We've got some Elsits and some Delunders. <laughs> Long day, 15 hours of the form, a couple hours of hard training. It's about uh, 11.45 right now. So, I'm go shower, hop in the chili goat, eat some bison, and the coat up your bison, get to bed. Usually I would prioritize recovery more, but not today. It's midnight. Long day, we still get the chili goat in. All right guys, that's it for that video. Uh, you know, being a farmer, sometimes you have days like that. You gotta get the work done one way or another. And uh, I had to get the training done too. That's uh, <clears throat> it's not something that would be sustainable. Uh, you will very quickly out train your recovery and you're not gonna make any progress doing that. Typically, if I were to have a lot of days like that on the farm, I would not do that much training afterwards as I did today. This was uh, just one day and then you know the next day I didn't have any work on the farm. Sleep in a little bit so I let it let it run a little bit on training. Typically you're going to want to maximize your recovery and balance out your training and your recovery because you keep 
out training your recovery, you're not gonna make any progress. And you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get injured for sure. It's just a matter of time. I used to have a lot of days like that uh, when I first started training, when I got back home from college, got to balance farming and training. You know, I didn't get a lot of sleep back then. A lot of tough, kind of lonely nights in uh, my dad's garage. I had to farm all day. You know, I get more time to train nowadays and um, those get there's 12 hour, 15 hour days of the farm are not as common for me anymore. And you've definitely been able to see that in my training. And, uh, and I'm just excited for someday I'm gonna get the opportunity to train full time. You know, proud of the things I've been able to accomplish so far in this sport while doing manual labor during the day and then going home training at night. And uh, you know, the future is bright. But anyways, thanks for watching. We're in my tier sweatshirt. If you guys want any clothing, swimming apparel, or shoes from tier, you can use my code ColtonFGS to get free ground shipping on your order. Be much appreciated. And now everybody's favorite part, the weenie clips. Here you go.